March 27th, 2022, and we've finally made it to King's Dominion Amusement Park here in Virginia. So this is a sister park to King's Island, and fun fact, the name comes from King from King's Island and Dominion because one of the nicknames of Virginia is Old Dominion. You can probably hear all the wind because it's very windy. The weather's been mild for the first few days of our trip, but it's dipped into the 40s today. I have never been to this park, so it's another first. We're excited, let's get started. We're here at the main entrance to King's Dominion. We've got a big American flag. We've got a county flag, a Virginia flag, a King's Dominion flag, and the first thing you see is their Eiffel Tower. Sam, are you bundled up? I am bundled up today. <laughs> I, I learned my lesson yesterday. Yeah. And we just passed through security and are greeted with this first view. Oh. So besides the due to extreme operating conditions, including inclement weather and cold temperatures part, this, the beautiful sign surrounded by flowers, the model of the Eiffel Tower and the fountain. The entrance part of the park is called International Street. It's really pretty and they have buildings representing different European countries. Oh look, a Starbucks too, nice. Grand Carnival. So they're gonna have a little uh, Mardi Gras carnival type celebration here too in the summer. I really like this big fountain right in the front. All right, well let's keep going. Even from the road, we could see roller coasters and rides moving everywhere. There is a lot to do here. Yeah, we want to go straight and then right. All right, so here's a look at the map. I guess uh, Sam has in mind yeah, what he first, wants to do first. first. We're going to go to Twisted Timbers. Okay, so it's an RMC, so that'll be my second RMC oh, after well. Aranguazi. Well, to so see how it, what you think. Cool. Look at that back there. I don't know what that is. Apparently, there's an elevator that you can sometimes take up into the replica of the Eiffel Tower, but it does not seem to be running today. Maybe because of the wind but it's still really cool looking. Old Virginia Americana, Apple Zapple. It's pretty empty, huh? We're here oh, like right yeah. at park opening and yeah. I don't know. Right, maybe we're just going the wrong way to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so far it's so pretty. I'm just drawn to like the pretty fiddle music everywhere. And I don't know if we just like picked a good time to be here, but zero crowds so far. We even purchased like the quick queue fast pass thing here and uh, I don't know if we're gonna need it. The first thing we're gonna do is Twisted Timbers. Here it goes. This is an RMC, a hybrid. the twisted up tree here. We're gonna go ahead and get a multi-use locker just like at other parks you pay one price and then you can use the locker. It's only five dollars? It's not bad at all. At a bunch of different locations. So it says we can bring our phones but there'll be like a smaller locker closer in to put that in to not take it onto the ride. So I'll be able to show you some of the queue but you can't film on the rides here so I'll show you like off-ride footage, the queue, as much as we can. So let's go. Shield that locker code. Lucky you get a receipt with it on. All right, stuff's in locker and we are gonna board. Here we go. So see, there's a test seat right here. Okay, so it's fast lane is what it's called here, right? So. We purchased fast lane. All right, here we go. Into the queue. Whoa, look, it's like all a big cage under here. See, this is what I like. When you can see all this in a wooden coaster. right there right like a yeah all right so right after the metal detector there are smaller lockers and then uh, you can put your stuff in so from this point on the phone will go away and uh, yeah 
And the slugger's free. Ah, we're going on! On the outskirts of Candy Apple Grove sits the remains of the once thriving Hanover Hill Orchard. No one can say exactly what happened that day back in 1950. What destroyed half of the harvest in a matter of seconds? What shook the ground, turned over tractors, shattered glass, and nearly peeled the siding off the warehouse? Strictly off limits for decades, this land of local legend is finally open to the public. Take a ride through previously forbidden grounds where you'll experience the unexplainable and see evidence preserved from that fateful day. So these are double-sided lockers. You put your stuff in on one side and pick them up on the other, which is really cool. This is how small they are. These are free. So if you come with only like a small amount of stuff, like wallet, keys, phone, that's a great solution. All right, Sam's gonna purchase the all day photo pass so we can get our ride pics. I don't know if it's just cause it's the first ride of the day or I, I'm not, or like the way the restraint was or what, but I was holding on for dear life in there. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Sam rode twice. We're checking out the Twisted Timbers gift shop. A lot of cute merchandise in here, huh? They've got the, yeah, so they're really going in with the apple orchard theme here, which I like. I really like this shirt, one bad apple. So while we were riding Twisted Timbers, it looks like the sun is coming out, huh? Yeah, it's nice. This feels really nice, doesn't it? I can undo my jacket. Yeah, me too, it's getting a little bit warmer, the sun's out, it's looking really pretty. Yeah, this park is really pretty so far. Yeah, yeah but we're just getting started. Oh my gosh, we were walking along and this woman just flew out in front of us. Oh, yeah, just silently. <laughs> wow. All right, next up we're gonna ride Grizzly, which is a wooden roller coaster. We're gonna go through Grizzly Gulch General Store to get there. A mercantile, everything very clean, very nice. All right, we come out the other side and I guess this is the queue right here. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. You couldn't, oh, you so you can't walk around here. You have to go through the store to get in. Usually you exit through the gift shop, not enter. <laughs> I love this. All right, enter right here. This is pretty cool. We're on like a little log path in here, like a little bridge. It's pretty narrow, isn't it? Yeah. And there it is right up there. So there's like a little box over there for our stuff. Cool. They've got a happy birthday sign up there because it's the 40th birthday of Grizzly. They've got some balloons too. And when we rode, the ride operator said, Happy 40th birthday. The 40th birthday of the Grizzly. Woo! Thank you for celebrating 40 years with us. Nice, happy birthday, Grizzly! They like lift their arms up, you think? Huh? They said, please keep your arms inside of the train. Oh. That was so pretty going through the forest. Shakes you about, doesn't it? It really <laughs> shakes you about. That is a shaken, not stirred situation. <laughs> it was fun, though. Yeah, it was really fun. 
love wooden coasters and that's a classic. You are just shaking. Your every part of you is shaking around, but it's so fun and it's so beautiful. You go through these woods and we saw these like little huts that look like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs type of thing. Like I don't know if that's for an event. I don't know what that's for, but it was beautiful. I also saw like a castle facade out in the woods. Uh, I don't know if that's something we're going to see today because again, this is my first time at this park, so I don't know it well yet but hopefully after today we'll be experts but i was just really excited when someone on our train asked what's the happy birthday for and they said it's for grizzly's 40th birthday that's i don't know really cool nice i love that you can see a little bit of what we saw tales from the brothers grim once upon a time i wonder if that's for like their halloween event yeah, it must be for halloween <gasps> horn. I would love to come here for Halloween haunt, Sam. Oh no, we're gonna be back. <laughs> we're gonna be back. Like a dark forest, scary, like storybook, fairy tale theme is right up my alley. So we were seeing all sorts of stuff like this when we were up there, weren't we? Yeah, like little huts. Little like cottages yeah. and stuff. Might have to come back again. Yes, we are. Okay, the Grizzly, I need that shirt. That's gonna be the first shirt of the day. I don't even care that it's long sleeve. We're both getting it. I want it. And look at how cute. Look at how cute this whole room is. So somebody commented that the Virginia is for lovers logo is about how people in Virginia love activities. So we've got Virginia is for coaster lovers. Virginia is for craft beer lovers. So like hiking, outdoors, fun, roller coasters, all the fun things that there are to do here in Virginia. Look at the bag. It's got all the Cedar Park, Cedar Point, Valley Fair, Not Soak City, Michigan Adventure, Knott's Berry Farm, love Knott's Berry Farm. That was the only Cedar Park I had been to before this, but we're gonna go to all of them. All right, now it's time to do something I really wanna do because we saw it from the front and it's ride these little buggy cars, these little old fashioned antique cars. The Blue Ridge Tollway, it's called. Look at how cute, I can smell the like the fumes. That's so cute. All right, we're gonna hop on the tollway. So this is actually like, you drive them. Oh. I'm holding on. They used to have one of these at Fort Park and I love that.
Well, that was just charming. We loved it. So cute, so charming. A little just drive through the countryside. Did you like it, Sam? Fun. Yeah. Fun. Am I driving? Perfect. Thank You're you. You're a great driver. Thank you. So one thing to note is that this park is only open from 11 to 5 today. So we got here right at 11, uh, but it's already like past 1 almost. So hopefully we can do as much as we can. But so far with the three things we've done, I've liked them all. I've had a lot of fun. There's 1950s music playing all over the park. I think next up we're gonna ride Racer 75. This is another wooden coaster. So we noticed this plaque here and we saw a plaque like this at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, right? Yeah, for the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper, so a similar um, historical significance coaster thing. Okay, cool, let's do it then. It's cool how in this queue you can see two coasters. Apple's apple. So they're both apple themed. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then I guess uh, 75 is like back there, racer. Can't really see it from here. What a beautiful day it's turned into. So look at the track. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Classic from 1975. Oh my goodness. Oh, you feel that wind? Uh, it's really pretty. There's like gray clouds and blue sky and can't get over how pretty Virginia is. It looks very much like Big Dipper. Yeah. Like those tiny cars. Uh, the Grand National. Yeah, like Grand National. That was really painful. It's weird to think that this is much more modern than Grand National. <laughs> is this gonna be as painful as Grand National? Uh, <laughs> Let's have a look at it. Normally the reason this is called racer is that there would be two roller coasters racing each other But they're only running one train today, so we kind of won the race by default That was a lot of fun. We really liked it um, It was wee, like hills and drops and hills and drops and I could see how it would be really fun with a race with the two coasters going next to each other But it was also like my lap restraint was so tight So we're like as you do on wooden coasters. You're, you're very like shaking around So my restraint was like and I was like Ugh, but it was really fun I like these candy apple candy apple grove you see the Eiffel Tower back there Looks like we're gonna go through Jungle Expedition area. Yeah, it does look really pretty. And then over here, they have Planet Snoopy, which hopefully we can check out later. I already see the Great Pumpkin. Here we go on a Jungle Ex. Look at how the, they have a the themed map. That's so pretty. This is Timbali. I know this is one of their newer roller coasters. Look at the seats spin. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that one. <laughs> It does look cool though. It's just a tight little coaster, huh? We're just checking out the test seat. I, like, this whole thing looks so painful to me. Don't like it. <laughs> but, at least we know, comfortable fit. It is very, very cool looking though. So this is brand new, it just opened. I love the music too. 
<laughs> Do you guys think you could ride this? Tell me who would be too scared to ride this and who would be brave enough. Oh, those spins. Look at this cool airplane. It's really pretty theming in here, I like it. All right, here's Intimidator. But yeah, 305 feet. This would be the tallest roller coaster I've ever ridden. Yeah, for now. For now, because the big one isn't as tall. The big one is 200 feet. Oh my gosh. We are gonna get our locker here. All right, we're doing this. We are doing this. Oy, joy, joy. You like Intamin coasters? Yeah, I do like Intamin coasters. Not no. for you, that one. No. All right, so I think this is gonna be a first on this channel. For the first time ever, I'm gonna say this. I hated it. I hated Intimidator. It feels good to say it. I hated it. I, I, I rarely hate anything. Like, I, I've been on this before, and I knew to put you near the front, because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, even when I like don't love something, I can still like it, I can still enjoy it, but I just hated Intimidator. It was, it felt horrible to me. You know, of course it's different for everyone. Sam liked it, different people like different things. It was just too intense for me, and hey, I've ridden some amazing intense coasters all over like the, the United States and, and the UK. So it's not like I'm like, you know, I've ridden a lot of coasters, but yeah, it was too rough for me. Uh, it was painful. I think the main thing was it was just too forceful. Like it was so rough and forceful and like, I was just like, ah! <laughs> that is the tallest and I think the fastest roller coaster you've been on so far. Yeah. So I did it. I'm proud of myself for doing it. You gotta try before you can know. You know, there's a lot of things I love, a lot of rides I've really liked and loved here, but that one was not it. So let's keep going. Intimidator 305 is also NASCAR themed. So there you go. Can't ever say I didn't hate a ride. I like this building. I saw Bureau of Paranormal Activity and I said, I like it. This is an indoor coaster. Flight of Fear is currently closed, so maybe we'll get to do that today or maybe next time. We'll right, see. So as we're making our way around, we have to stop and look at this frog and these mushrooms. Mushrooms of the singing variety must rest every 15 minutes or so, otherwise their throats will get spore. <laughs> Are they gonna sing? They look like their mouths move, but they're not singing right now. I feel like I wanna wait to see if they sing, because they're so cute. Well, we've been standing here for about 15 minutes, waiting to see if they would sing, and no activity from the frog or the mushrooms. So not sure if they're just not on today or what, but I think we're gonna move along, we're gonna get some food, and then uh, maybe we'll check back later and see if they're singing later. So cute in the Snoopy area, these topiaries. Charlie Brown and Lucy and Linus, that's cute. I think we found the place we're gonna eat, Grain and Grill International Kitchen. I looked it up and it looks like it has some options that sound good at least, so we're kinda back in the front in the international area. 
Here's some of the entrees. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, garlic and herb shrimp sounds good. So one thing that I read was that it, they use locally sourced ingredients, which I really like. Some Billy tropical lager, cool. And then the dining is outdoor. All right, this looks pretty good. Got a little chimichurri too on the side. Didn't know why, just, they just happened to have it, but let's try the mac and cheese. It's good. Let's try the meat though. Let's try the pork. <laughs> Yummy. We also each got a local beer from Center of the Universe Brewing. They're based in Ashland, Virginia. I got the lager, Sam got the IPA. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. We're enjoying it. It's good. Since there's just a little bit of time of the park being open left, we're trying to like think about what we want to do next before we go. And I'm actually pretty good. I'm satisfied. I would like to do the one dark ride before we go, so I think we're going to do that next. But first, Sam is riding Timbali for us because mm -mm, it's not happening. Not for me today, but he's going to ride it for us. There he is! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he looks like he's having fun. Uh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Even Sam? Even Sam's affected by this one? Not a fan. I was just talking about how blessed you are that you don't get dizzy yeah. on stuff, but I, I was watching dizzy. you spin. It was just horrible. Yeah, it looks horrible. Yeah, you would hate that. I'm so glad I didn't do it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you, were, I just, I watched you like, phew, yeah, phew, and I was like, I, oh no. I like had to hold on the tightest <laughs> I've ever held on. It's very short. Heck no. But yeah. Well, thank you for doing it yeah. for yourself and for us, mostly for yourself. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I'm glad you got to do it, yeah. and I'm glad I didn't have to do it. <laughs> it's definitely something I will not be rushed into do again. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, look, pretty little waterfall. All right, we got one more main thing we want to do, and it was right around the corner. Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. This looks like a spooky, scary ride. So I don't even know what it is, but I know I love it already. All right, let's go blast some booze. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Just a little tiny bit of spooky vibes. That's all I ask for. Look, enter at own risk. Got a little bit of a spooky foresty vibe. Very beautiful though, actually. It says gators. Are there actual gators? The water's like bubbling. I don't think there's real gators here. Do you, Sam? Look at this. Is this like a haunted house or what? <gasps> Look at how pretty. This is really, really pretty though. It's like we're going into a creepy mansion. All right, I love this. Alrighty. Look, blaster. <laughs> Funny. No, look, skull lamps, skull candles. There's some signs here. Welcome to Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. It's full of mean ghosts. Those who dare enter must battle Boocifer, the meanest ghost of all. But don't be scared, you have a special weapon called a Boo Blaster to zap Boocifer and all the ghosts away. There are strobe lights and theatrical fog. Climb aboard the Boo Mobile and zap ghosts using your Boo Blaster. But you gotta look out for Boocifer. Okay, that was like the most amount of boos I've ever heard in one <laughs> like sign. <laughs> I am 
whatever it is, we're gonna. Food. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here, but I like it. Look at that chandelier up there. All right, I can already tell this is gonna be fun, and we're gonna like it. Look at the cute ride vehicles. They're like covered in slime. There it goes. There's little shootums, the boo blasters. All right, we loved that. It was so cute. So you shoot, it's like an arcade, and the, their triggers reactions, like skeletons pop out, and little cute things happen. It was so cute. We loved it. Oh yeah, that was good stuff. We definitely needed like a haunted housey type vibe ride, a dark ride. You can never get enough haunted. I never can get enough. Type rides, you know. Look, a little, a little cemetery, a little graveyard. So they've got little funny puns and cute little poems here, just like a haunted mansion. Oh yeah, that hits a spot. Perfect way to wrap up the day. I'm so happy we got to do that. Very sad that, oh, I can't see. Very sad I couldn't film inside though so that I could show it to you, but I asked and they said no. Uh, but it was so cute, just have to take our word for it. All right, we're gonna check out a little bit of Planet Snoopy now. There are some kitty rides like Sally's Seaplane, very cute. Joe Cool's Pit Stop. Snoopy's Rocket Express, that is very, very cute. A cute little driving school. So yeah, lots of little kitty family rides. And then there's Woodstock here. It looks like there's some more over there too. Let's go check it out. This is like a pretty little manicured area. With a tiny little river and flowers. And then over here, a cute little spinning teacups type of ride. Woodstock Whirly Birds. Snoopy's Junction, a little train ride. A swing ride. The Great Pumpkin Coaster. How cute is this? Look, it goes through the Great Pumpkin. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Okay, I love it. And it looks like there's quite a bit more. There's like a wooden coaster back there, a playhouse, a bunch of cute rides. And then as you're leaving this area, a little Snoopy saying, have a great day. That's so cute. 20 minutes till park closing, we came back to Flight of Fear to see, I think it's reopened. Give it a chance, give it a go. Why does this feel like The Walking Dead all over again? Right? <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. This is an indoor coaster we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, it's UFO themed. I love it. is now closed so we're making our way out to the front and 
that's about all we had time to do today. It's early in the season, so the park has shorter hours right now. It's open from 11 to 5 today, so we got here right at 11, and we are leaving just a few minutes, like right at 5. It just took us a few minutes of walking back to the park to the front, but we had a really great time, and I would definitely like to come back later in the season when the park hours are longer so we have more time to do everything. We did almost everything though. There were only maybe a few rides uh, we didn't do and there were a few rides that weren't open but pretty much we did every major thing almost and we had a great time and it was great to just check out another Cedar Fair amusement park. As I said earlier, I think I had only been to Knott's Berry Farm. It was my only other Cedar Park, but eventually we'll have been to all of them because we do plan to visit all or as many as we can possibly visit over time, of course. We did purchase Fastlane Plus, but the crowds were so light today that neither of us feels like we really probably needed it. There were lines at like Timbali and a few rides, but even there, it wasn't long at all. So that was nice. Oh, and also it didn't work on every ride, but again, don't think we really needed it. We had a great time, light crowds, short hours, but still really nice, nice weather, beautiful park. And I look forward to seeing Kings Island and more Cedar Fair parks and just more of this beautiful country in the future. For me, I think my favorite things were Grizzly and Boo Blasters. I know it's silly, but I really love a dark ride, a spooky theme, like a little, uh, like fun little haunted house type of ride. I love that. And Sam, what was your favorite? I really like Grizzly, Twisted Timbers, Dominator. Those are definitely my top ones of today. Yeah, those uh, were all good. Yeah, Intimidator, I I wouldn't be rushing to ride it again. It's fun because it's so tall and fast, but yeah, not my favorite. Um, Tim, Tim Bali? Tim Billy. Tim no, Billy? Yeah. No, never again. <laughs> never again. No. I, yeah. But uh, overall, I, everything was fun. But yeah, it's been an amazing road trip. We've had the best time and we've loved sharing it with you. And there is so much more to come. Soon we'll be back in Orlando and I'll be covering things going on there. Of course, Disney Universal, SeaWorld, other attractions in Orlando and Florida. So excited for that. But we have a lot more travels coming up for 2022. A lot of really cool, exciting things. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you all so much for your positivity, your kindness your stories, your memories, keep sharing them please because we love it and we appreciate it so much. So once again, thank you so much for joining us, sending you a ton of love. See you for the next video and until then, as always, stay tuned. Bye! What do you think about this Virginia wind? A little bite. A little bite. <laughs>